war, call it what we might, but war is the most complex of human endeavors. I've thought a lot about the use of the military instrument of power, and in particular, whether it's more appropriate to be cautious or aggressive with right. it. When I talk about making strategy in public, it's the recognition that uh, the decisions we make are immediately um, visible and evident to l large numbers of people, and not just at home, but across the globe. Roger, hey, you, you guys have security. That could take you in one of two directions. You could either become more aggressive or you can become more cautious about that. I, I will leave it to historians to decide whether we've become more aggressive or more cautious in the face of this proliferation of, of awareness and information. When I talk to our elected officials, I talk about options and I talk about whether we're in a period that requires either a bias for action or a bias for inaction. But what we can allow this proliferation of information to do is generate an almost insatiable appetite for more information and more options, which can actually paralyze the system. That's the risk we run, is that you, you, know, you begin to believe that if you just wait a little longer, you'll even have more information, right. and more information is better information and it becomes kind of a, a cycle that uh, is tough to, to, uh, to break. When conflict starts out of either fear or honor, uh, and in the case of current conflicts of, of certain of them, of religion, you know, the, the, the ability to manage those conflicts becomes much more difficult, much more challenging. So caution, is not a pejorative, in my view, in the application of force. On the other hand, I mentioned a little earlier that the use of the military instrument is different whether you're dealing with a nation state or a peer competitor or a non or sub-state group. My point is this, if you have a universal bias for inaction, that can become problematic. Right. I think you have to balance, given the threat given the other pressures on the system, in our case, given the other commitments we have, I think you have to be very uh, judicious in balancing your tendency to go into action and your tendency to wait and see if other opportunities present themselves.